Hello everyone, um, my name is Ryan Irvine um, I am one of the UX designers that works on the Lima project. I'm just going to run through some of the UX and UI improvements um, that we looked at for the 2.3 release. Um, so firstly, um, what we kind of covered, uh, you probably just heard, um, kind of the main features that we introduced were vehicles and license plates. Um, so that included kind of the same thing as what we have done for persons and people, which is creating them in the system, uh, being able to filter them, and how we detect and analyze them, so how it works in with the, the task workflow essentially. Um, and with that, that's where most of the UX and UI improvements came. Um, so within that task workflow, uh, which is where an analyst would um, be working on a task uh, essentially. So we looked at um, how we can improve that task workflow with filtering detections, um, how we can get more accurate matches with the integration of a canvas area, um, how we can kind of uh, assist analysts by showing a bit more about the detection, uh, which ties into vehicles a bit better, um, being able to then add detections to the report um, without, a, uh, without a match and to kind of uh, allow for more accurate reports and even, you know, being able to single out um, suspicious, suspicious people that we don't know about. Um, and also looking at creating entities um, directly from detection. Um, so I'll get into a bit of that um, throughout. And um, firstly, just to touch on vehicles and license plates and the integration into the system. So the same way as what we have done for people, um, so the same kind of creation process um, in the system, um, and something slightly different that you know it doesn't really didn't happen before with, with just people in the system is that we can now create kind of these links, um, so we can have current vehicles, uh, sorry current license plates on vehicles, which you'll kind of see there from the the blue links. Um, so anything that has a uh, indication from a license plate to a vehicle will be kind of linked there. Um, so we can kind of create these small small associations between uh, these vehicles and license plates now, um, which then gives uh, analysts and supervisors and whoever it may be who are searching for a particular vehicle or particular license plate um, a bit of a history of what license plates were on that vehicle, for instance. Um, we've also then looked at the same kind of procedures and same filtering um, uh, as people, but for vehicles and license plates, um, so we can now, um, for instance, look at um, just uh, vehicles that are uh, within a certain team, so the global team, for, for instance, in this case, and um, we can look, down, look at a, a particular model um, or a particular make um, of a uh, of vehicle, um, and then we can filter down even further with, with models, um, and obviously filters are dynamic as well, so if we um, keep filtering down and refining, um, the uh, filters will, will be dynamic as well, so we can only see that there's two Nissans available here, and you can see the two uh, two models uh, for them Nissans. So quite similar to what we have done, I um, have seen with people and persons before. Um, so it's mostly the UX and the UI improvements uh, have came within the, the task workflow. So. Um, firstly, the, the first thing we kind of looked at was the detection side panel, um, so where an analyst would you know, select what media they want to look in and what detections have been found from that media. Um, originally, this was kind of more focused on, on people, um, on, on faces, um, so we had to then think about how we can incorporate uh, vehicles into that and also how we can um, narrow down the detections for a particular task uh, so that the analyst doesn't have to scroll through um, thousands of detections uh, for instance to find only the exact person um, or people that they may be looking for for that particular task. So what we did do was bring in um, a bit of a toolbar and also filtering within these detections. So the toolbar is to house um, some features uh, like selecting all of the detections and also uh, the same procedures what we did have but we can um, select uh, all the media or we can go media file per media file uh, for that task and whatever way the analyst wants to work. Um, and this will also house uh, some future uh, features such as clustering and saved searches. So 
Um, I'd say a filter, sorry. Uh, so filtering then um, doesn't really happen for uh, for people as of yet. There's nothing to filter filter by. Um, we may see some clothing stuff come out uh, in the next hotfix release. Um, but for now we can, uh, for this release for 2.3, we can filter down the vehicles. Uh, so for instance, uh, we currently have a vehicle, or we currently have a filter applied, uh, which is vehicle type. Um, and you may want to then filter further, so by by particular make or particular color um, or the plate region, for instance, or you can also then filter by uh, or search for specific plates. Um, so it may contain certain characters, for instance. And um, so it means if you're if the analyst is looking for a particular plate or has a partial plate, they can just search for the characters they have, uh, and you will get the result if it was detected. Um, so this uh, speeds up the. Um, the workflow uh, ever so slightly uh, and just improves um, how uh, how efficient um, these uh, these analysts can be while working on particular tasks. Um, the previous um, UI for our analysis results section um, uh, it just allowed for kind of static imagery, um, so we couldn't really manipulate any of the detect detection images or any of the recognition results uh, in any way. Um, so it means we would always get our um, recognitions for a detection and also get the side-by-side -side comparison view. Um, so we looked at ways that we can um, make this better, how we can enhance um, the analyst experience here. And um, so being able to manipulate the imagery slightly. And we did that by integrating a canvas view. Um, so this is a full, fully zoomable, panable um, canvas area. Um, in which we can uh, zoom to a certain amount, or we can zoom it uh, as far out as far in as possible to determine um, certain blemishes or scars on a um, on a detection's face or tattoos, for instance. Um, and also, then it means we can uh, the analysts can align um, the the images how they want them if they're you know matching cheekbones or nose or eye level. And um, it means then that they have a lot more control over wow. Uh, how to position uh, these these uh, the, these pieces of imagery uh, from the detections on the left and recognitions on the right. So it means we can have more accurate matches, uh, uh, essentially. Um, also, um, like I said, we brought in vehicles and license plates. Uh, so how this then fits into the current UI uh, for the analysis results. Um, so pretty much the exact same way as people, well, we will get and um, we can select whatever vehicle detections and then we will see recognition results if we have them in the system. Um, so if a particular number plate is detected, um, we will be able to see it if we have it in the system and we'll also get uh, the same uh, kind of uh, system as before. We'll get you know, uh, pretty much uh, accurate um, recognition results um, based on the confidence score. We then also looked at how we can kind of improve the analyst's decision even more and also learn a bit more about the detection by including the detection information. Um, so um, this applies more to vehicles at the minute. Um, so we can get the you know, the plate value that was detected, the, the region of the plates, um, make um, of the vehicle potentially and color of the vehicle potentially, um, depends on what gets detected at that time. And for people, what's coming soon in the hotfix release, and um, we'll also be able to detect uh, clothing, so the upper half of the body and lower half of the body. So um, that will start to feature out in the next uh, release uh, for people. But for now, uh, detection information for people is limited for just the source media. Um, like I said before, we can also now create an entity directly from the detection. So if the analyst was able to ID the person just from the detect result, um, we're able to now create that entity into the system. And the last piece um, was that well, we couldn't previously just add a detection to the report. We had to either make sure it was a possible match or a confirmed match. And um, so we thought if we didn't have any information, or didn't have any recognitions for a particular person, we still want to include them in the report uh, and include findings and build up a bit of a report about that that particular individual. Um, so it means we can do that now. Uh, we can still navigate to the report and now select unknowns. And it means we can um, you know, just document our findings based on that person. So if they're detected in a media clip, um, we don't have any recognition results for that person, but now we can just uh, still document that person um, 
that person's findings. Um, but that is uh, a bit of a, a run through of some of the UX and UI improvements uh, for the 2.3 release. Uh, thank you very much for listening, and I do welcome any questions. Thank you very much.